So for this example, um, you can also um, detect cycles. Um, that's useful because some cycles are not actually physically constructible unless they share some common slit directions with which that, se that cycle of sections can be uh, separated. Uh, also some connectivity tests and also some stability tests. So the stability test takes the convex hull of the contact points, computes the, the um, center of mass of the model, that projection on the ground plane falls within the convex hull of the contact points. The model is said to be stable. Uh, the connectivity test, so I'll just disable the cycles test, uh, make sure that your model's connected. So if I were to say delete a few of these, we've got these disks up here. If I were to actually move this off, so now it's not connected anymore, it's sort of, this disk is hovering, so it's red, so that's useful for that. Uh, I've got a more efficient algorithm now to compute the cycles and connectivity using a tree structure and looking for a back edge. It was a uh, worse code before that. Anyway, uh, disable this stuff. There's also some uh, physical tests that can be performed. Uh, not so important to the modeling aspect, but these show um, sort of fracture lines, and the redness indicates how likely the model is to fracture there. So you see along these legs, this is a model which will fracture. And we can actually add extra weights, kilogram weights, to the model by selecting a plane and then hitting insert, but not on a uh, not over one of these control points here, and we got these weights that we can actually interactively drag around, and the forces change, so we can also visualize these section moments here. It's pretty neat, and we can show the skeleton of the model, which is composed of the sort of center of mass of each of the planar sections, the contact points, and the, and the joints that are in blue between them. And we can actually show some of these forces uh, taking place at these joints. Can make that well. If I make the model very thin, obviously it's not very strong, so. It's just going very red here. So, yeah, that's the physics module. So you can enable, disable that just by clicking this test physics thing here. Delete these using backspace when you highlight them. Or you can just select the section that those weights are bound to and then go to physics, remove weights.